Hey everyone, it's Fun Around and my name is Jordan. I hope you're all doing well. I have four picks for you guys and then I have some notes on another game that I noticed. Uh, so I'll give those notes as well. Uh, but let's get right into these picks. You'll see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There'll be a link in the description for a seven day free trial. So this first pick is one that has pretty much been automatic. Um, as of late, Victor Wimanyama over two and a half blocks. Now he is still on a 24 minutes minutes restriction. Um, they say they're they're looking at that every few weeks to see if they can lift it. They're keeping a close eye on his foot, but even. With that minutes restriction, he has been playing great. Um, he's got the best matchup possible up against the Detroit Pistons uh, for getting blocks. They give up the most blocks to the center position. And on that minutes restriction with 24 minutes uh, playing around that, he's gone over six out of the seven games he's played with that minutes restriction and over 70% of the last 20 games. So I expect this line to get bumped up at some point. And uh, by the end of the year, we could be looking at a very high blocks or plus steals line for Victor Wimanyama, uh, which is going to be pretty insane to see. And it's just his rookie year. Uh, before that game, the Pistons lines are not out yet because they just played. They say Cade Cunningham is going to be out again. But some key matchups to look out for that game would be Bogdanovich at the small forward position. Spurs are giving up the ninth most points to the small forward position, the second most rebounds, and then the fourth most three-pointers made. He scored a lot. He hit four three-pointers tonight with Cade Cunningham out. And we'll take a look where his rebounds line is to see if we can add that in. And also Jaden I. He did pretty well with scoring, rebounding, and assisting. Um, but for rebounds and assists, the Spurs are giving up the second most rebounds and the fourth most assists to the shooting guard position. So what I'll do is when these lines do come out, I'll put a pin comment. I know um, Ev from Guy Boston Sports, he puts his final plays in a pin comment. Um, so if I do leave some notes and I see some lines that I do like, I'll put a pin comment and I'll, I'll put the line in there uh, for you guys to take a look at because um, I just don't have them right now. Uh, but the next pick that I do have a line for is going to be Sadiq Bay over seven and a half rebounds plus assist. He's gone over this line in 82% of games this year with the Andre Hunter out. And the Sixers are giving up the seventh most rebounds to the small four position and the 21st most assist to the small four position. So his rebounds line is at six and a half and you just add one assist uh, for that seven and a half. So he really needs just one assist to break even and then anything extra just helps out with that rebounds line. Um, so I know they're a little bit tougher with assist, uh, but we just, just need one and then uh, help out that line. Uh, so we're really looking at the seventh most rebounds to the small four position. Uh, Joel Embiid will be out of this game. And there could be a lot of other players out for the Hawks. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, Trey Young, Clint Capella, a lot of guys are uh, questionable for this game. So a lot of opportunity in this game overall. Um, keep an eye out on the injuries. And if you could, please like the video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a little bit of extra time, could you just leave a comment? Uh, you just leave a W and it just tells YouTube to get that out there for more people to see. And thank you to the people who do comment. Uh, my next play, this is going to be a plus money play. It's going to be Tyler Hero over three and a half three pointers made. And with Jimmy Butler out this year, he has gone over this line in seven out of nine games. Um, those two that he missed were away games. He will be playing at home if that gives him any more of a boost. But the Thunder are giving up the third most three-pointers made to the shooting guard position. And it showed last year he played against them with Jimmy Butler out. He made nine three-pointers. And the reason why I'm going with this plus money three-pointers made is because if you take a look at his points with Jimmy Butler out, you'll see he's only gone over in four out of nine games. So in some of those games that he didn't go over his points line, uh, which is at 23 and a half, uh, he made four three-pointers still. So he's taking a lot of threes. That's where he's getting the majority of his points from. So the assumption is if he's going to hit his points, he's going to hit his three-pointers as well.
And then before I get into this last pick, I want to shout out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay, Play, and Chalkboard. Use promo code FINAROUND11 on any of these. They'll match your first deposit up to $100, and Sleeper will do it up to $500. There'll be links in the description that'll take you straight there with the promo codes, and thank you to the people who use those. In this final pick, I'm going to go with an under. Um, I'm going to try to fit in an under in every video. Uh, the under worked out with Jeremy Grant. Uh, for today or yesterday whenever you're watching this but i'm gonna go with trey jones under seven and a half assists now this line is bumped up because he's playing against the pistons who give up the fourth most assists to the point guard position they did just play against the kings and De'Aaron fox got four assists against them so at seven and a half assist Trey Jones has only gone over this four times this year. So he's gone under this 87% of the time. This might just be a scenario where the line is bumped up too high because of the matchup. And, and different Spurs are getting assists right now as the, the team flow is going. So I'm going to go with that 87% and go with the under here for Trey Jones. And this is a pretty big slate. I believe I counted 10 games. Uh, so if you would like to discuss lines further, there's a Discord with a link in the description. Uh, there'll be conversation going on all day long in there. So you can hop on in there and discuss lines and bring your own research and everything like that. And like I said, I will do my best to try to do some added plays uh, to a pinned comment, uh, which I haven't done before. Um, but we'll we'll try to start that to, to see how it works out because uh, I I know I give notes and data and stuff like that on good plays and the matchup and everything. But when the line comes out, if the line is too high, um, it might not be a good play. Kind of like this Trey Jones one, uh, maybe a little too high for him. So we'll see where Bogdanovich uh, comes out at. We'll see where Ivy comes out at. I know they're on a back to back. Um, so it could be a little bit tougher for them, uh, but it is two pretty bad teams going against each other, which sometimes that ends up in pretty good games. Uh, but there are a lot of other games uh, to take a look at. So I hope you do well. Uh, good luck to you all. Uh, God bless you all. It's the final round. My name is Jordan. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.